My job this morning is to highlight the three things we've talked about. Right, footprint, we're going to show you the traction power of the machine with the standard tire, with the Pinot track, and then we're going to show you the difference in handling and stability. Those are the three key things that are visible that you can measure without having what? Scientific tools, right? We're not, we don't have a bunch of measuring tools on the machinery. But the bottom line is, as my grandfather used to say, the proof is in the pudding. So we're going to show you the pudding today. So we're going to start first with the footprint. And what we're going to do is show you the difference in the footprint, uh, both dynamically and statically with the boards that we have. So let's go ahead and move the tractors. Now, the measure for all this, and you know, the standards that we use, is our META data book. Now, the META data book, like all other manufacturers, goes to the standards, right? We have to be compliant both with ETRGO in Europe and the TNRA in North America and JAPMA, which is the Asian, the Japanese Tire and Rim Association. Okay, we're seeing at the, at the advantage of the touching lugs, the width and the depth of the lugs in relation to one or the other. Notice how clean the image of the lugs are in relation to the normal tire. You almost see the exact design of the wheel and the rubber, which shows you how much the footprint is spreading onto the soil. All right, slowly you'll start to see the tractors even up. And then as the Pinot track starts to grip and take advantage, you'll start to see it take a lead and push forward. Observe the detail of the Pinot track as it makes contact with the soil. One of the things that the technology allows us to do, even in wet soil, is its auto cleaning capability. As it fills up with dirt, it also cleans out as the tire flexes. That improves not only ride stability, but fuel efficiency, because you're not slipping as you're turning on the soil. All right, we're starting to see the Pinot track take a lead. I also want you to notice the, the difference in the slip of the standard tire versus the Pinot track as it starts to grip the soil and pull forward. Notice how the Pinot track is almost like a tank track, digging into the soil, transferring the torque, transmitting the power of the tractor onto the soil to pull the input. Obviously, there's a clear advantage to what the Pinot track can do, just the standard operation. The 1865 tires that we have are standard meat cost radial tires. We're not using IS or VS for this demonstration because of the size. Observe the tractors going over the logs, and I want you to notice 
how the tractor moves from side to side, how it sways. Observe also on the screen how he bounces in the cab. Now observe the Pinot track, and again, the stability of the tractor, the operator, and the tires as they make contact over the obstacle. One more time, just in case you missed it. Okay, once again, here we go. Here comes the beating of bread for the second time. So observe his motion in the 